Skinny Noodles! Damn! I love Skinny Noodles! No! Skinny Noodles! No! no. Good morning. What time is it? 8.39 in the morning. Um, we just passed scrutineering. Just. <laughs> it's, um, you might hear some you know, very, very quiet noise. In the, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that noise in the background. That's just Gav trying to make our arches fit properly. But um, yeah, I'm not quite... I, I've basically just been away at a driver briefing, so I don't really know what's happened yet. I'm going to catch up with Gav in a second, but starting off the video with our first challenge... Uh, probably one of our biggest challenges completed is good. Getting, getting through scrutineering with a completely new car is always scary. And uh, we're just test fitting the, the wheels now. I say we, I'm sitting, I'm standing there doing nothing like a fucking diva. Um, they've been test fitted to make sure they don't rub on the uh, the arches because they'll just take them, they'll, they'll, they'll go flying if they rub around here. But um, yeah, I'm not really awake yet, but good start of the day, eh? Um, but you guys haven't actually seen uh, Minty in the flesh yet. Kind of all finished, so... Uh, Come, have a look. the merch so I had to had to give them a tour. It's always surreal to see someone turn up in one of your t-shirts, you know, very, very odd. Um, always very cool though. Speaking of t-shirts, ah! So yeah, here it is, the brand new minty design and the guys at T-Mill, man, they absolutely killed it. I love how this thing looks and it looks even better in person. Currently the design is only available on both t-shirts and on hoodies but we are working on stickers in the future as well and all proceeds from any of the merch on the Team Mill site goes directly back into Team 87 and helping us improve the cars and the experience for you guys watching. Ah. So if you fancy picking up any of this awesome merch you can find the link down in the description below or in the card thing in the top right hand corner. I'll put it there probably. Back to the content. But anyway, we are about to go out for our first uh, sort of first warm-up session. Uh, for us, really, I, I want to set this expectation now because I know it's cool having this car here. It looks f***ing great, but it's never gone around a corner quickly at this point in the day. Never. So we don't know if it's going to rub. We don't know if it's going to have problems somewhere. I know it's going to be very heavy because it's uh, no power steering. So it's going to be... Um, yeah, this is going to be quite eye-opening, I think, this first, this first uh, time out. Looks f***ing sweet though, right? So, basically, first run, just go out, let's see what's any issues, like bodywork touching or any sensor issues or anything like that, first off. Some big vibrations in the steering, it's not worth um, really risking anything at the moment, but it went, went round. Um, I tried to get one to come out of the last corner, see what happened. Third gear, like, rah, rah, rah. It's, 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 it's fast. 
it's just unrefined at the moment. But yeah, as a first session, it came back in one piece. It's not there's no mechanical damage or anything like that. So just gonna sort out what this vibration is, then we'll get ready for practice a bit later on. But uh, as Gav said, you know, this is definitely this feels like a test now. So uh, we've got a lot of work to do, but that's why we're here. Hard work. Yeah. No. Very, very physical, no power steering. Um, it's like having 100% force feedback, but your force feedback is clipping. So it's like just sludge going through there. Um, we're probably gonna get power steering, I think, because it's just not possible. Like this. Yeah, you're right. Looking good, Cal. Yeah. <laughs> Three mana. What are you doing? I'm trying to, I can't even see you, Jamie. I'm already you are yeah. doing good. Right, I'm trying to relieve the bodywork it's rubbing on the rear wheels, that's all, so just try and cut it out best we can, get a bit clearer. I think he, I think he loves it really. <laughs> Poor Gav. It's what the best at a time attack for me, is just to chat with everyone, everyone's really friendly. There's no, no secrets here. Uh, well, not that I know of anyway. Yeah, also, we're on a we're on a live stream right now. Up there, look. Galloway. Oh, Galloway. I always seem to get into your videos, but you never edit me in, so you gotta change for once, right? Wait, what? I'm not that interested. What do you want? It's not that simple. What? Right. Okay. So um, there's a, a bit of a thing that ha sometimes happens during time attacks called martial hot laps, which is, as it sounds, uh, we take a martial out for a hot lap um, during the lunch break. And I can't really do it in mint because it's got a karting seat in there right now, and you're not really going to fit anyone in there. And so I've asked the organisers, and they said I can do it in the uh, in the Supra down there. But I've got to go get a scrutiny in quick to make sure it's safe to go out on the circuit. I think it is. Um, certainly, it's only a track day spec. So um, we'll go up there now, see what they say, and if they say yes, then we'll uh, get a camera in there and show you what it's like to take a marshal round for a hot lap in a Supra. That fuel pump is a bit annoying. Yeah, but I've got a theatre and a turbo race car. Oh really? Yeah. So I'm used to fuel pumps whirling a long time for me anymore. Shut up, that's a problem. No, I know. now I guess. Um, going to try and stay out a bit longer this time, let the car sort of get up to temperature, actually get some heat in the tyres and just see where it is, you know, and see if any more problems uh, persist or pop up, what we can really do now. So. Wish me luck! <laughs> It's like unbearably hot in there. 
I'll grab some water quick. Very warm. Uh, not as good that time. Brake pedal was doing some weird things. Um, the uh, throttle is, uh, I feel like we're, it's breaking up. It's not giving us full power. Don't know what that's about. Might just be a bit hot. Um, and we're still rubbing. So, did a quicker lap that time. I don't know what it was, but I thought I'd try to do a quicker lap. But the uh, main thing is the heat. We've got a uh, part of our design is we've got um, some of the exhaust basically in the footwell. It's covered by um, like a, a box with like reflective tape on it, but it's so warm in there. Like it's so hot that you can feel it, like, like the waves of it coming in. Like it's almost hard to breathe in there. So um, we've got some work to do, I think. <laughs> so we've done a, a few things since uh, we did. Uh, why is everyone leaving when I start talking? So what's happening? Spark, new, new spark plugs in there. Uh, brakes have all been flared as well. Uh, a little bit of an alignment. And I guess we'll just go from there. We've also stiffened up the rear a little bit to try and stop it from uh, compressing and rubbing because we're having a bit of a problem with that at the moment. So, um, yeah, I mean, we'll just see how we do. It's qualifying now. I mean, we've done a 53 so far as the best time. I think I reckon I can go quite a bit quicker than that. So I'm going to try and go a bit faster this uh, this session. Obviously, not risking anything, but I still want to see like what this car is actually capable of, you know, instead of just, uh, just rolling around. But I'm, it's so it's so hot today, it's quite hard to, like, to think. And even getting the car's, like, two times hotter than this, so I'm just sort of mentally preparing myself to to, to cook. He's cooking, boys. What's that? I'm a cook from far away. Do you think they're actually our people to cook, though? No, no, that's what I'm saying. They're, they're taking the piss out. There must be, though. Yeah. Like, maybe.
Try and help you it, tomorrow. It, it, it. I don't know, mate. If it's catching fire, I don't want to fucking drive it. No. Problem is, you see, we appear to have an oven for an uh, exhaust system. We're just missing a rotisserie thing, and we could put a chicken on it and cook it for the evening meal tonight. But basically, that's all caught fire, mate. So the car. Eh? Let's talk about why I'm not in overalls anymore. I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, car caught fire. I think to put it. Mildly, it was the O2 sensor that yeah, caught fire. Yeah, Lambda sensor caught fire. Why did it catch fire? Uh, just because we're seeing over like 400 degrees inside the car, um, and it's basically in a box. So, um, and it just was able to catch fire at that point because it was the only thing that would burn. Yeah, I mean we um, we have to think about like the, the, the design of the exhaust. Obviously, we knew that it wasn't conventional to have it as it is. So we tried, we tried it, it doesn't work. We tried something different. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Uh, just, that lungs are pretty much recovered now. I, I think I've burnt my toes, but I don't need those. Who, who needs toes? The rubbish. Is it? You, you can't even tell. You can't even tell. Um, but what's the plan? What are we doing now? What, what do we, what do, we uh, do? Basically, just trying to get it running for tomorrow. Um, there's nothing much we can do with the exhaust here whilst we're here. You know, um, it is what we've got, it is, but we'll just try and make it a little bit safer. Well, you've got to say, tomorrow. you've got to say, it is what it is. So no, I can't do that, you see. Because <laughs> I'm not as young as you, <laughs> therefore not as stupid. Um, we might run tomorrow. We haven't really thought about it yet. Um, we'll see. But if we do, we'll probably run with the roof off. Because yeah, in, in the cabin itself, I don't know how, how old it is in there, but I'd say, 60-ish, like. I would have said probably over that. I mean, like I say, the, the temp tabs we've got on the car are showing over 300 degrees. Yeah, that, down at the that, that's, that's in the passenger footwell, by the way, not where I am. Yeah. Um, but if it's 300 degrees there, obviously I'm, I, you can feel it in waves. It is hot. So to sum up, this is pretty much what a shakedown looks like, I guess. Yeah. It, it, we did has... expect some issues, didn't we? Yeah, yeah we thought. did. I didn't expect that stuff, though. No. I guess the um, one of the big things as well is the steering. Super heavy. Uh, I mean, I'm you know I'm very strong as you can see, but um, not strong enough to handle this if it gets out of shape. I, I just, mate, I came out of clearways. I was a good lap, and it went to the left. I was like, I can't, I can't, can't bring stop. it back. So I had to brake, <laughs> so I didn't go on. Uh, it wasn't good. So, well, yeah, we're, we're working it tonight. We'll decide a bit later on if we're going to work tomorrow or not. But, yeah, we'll see. It's really hard to show on film. It never looks like steep on film, ever. Trust me, it is. So basically yesterday we had a problem, the main problem was a fire um, in where the exhaust is. It's just getting far too hot. Um, but we've hopefully, we, we also had a misfire that was caused by the fire then afterwards which we got to the bottom of, which was a lambda sensor, um, which is supposed to be turned off in the ECU, but we don't actually know if it is because we've not got any access to the ECU at the moment. Um, but we've managed to get hold of a new lambda sensor, fitted that, um, heat protected it best we can, tried to tie it up out of the way. So inside this, our little hot box that we've got in here, which hopefully, 
we might have to edit this a little bit. So basically the wiring for the lambda sensor, which is up here, we've protected it now um, and tried to keep it more taut. And basically I think it dropped down yesterday towards the exhaust. There is a bit of residue still in here from the fire, as you can see. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll fix that. We'll try and keep them running to a bit of a minimum. Just try and get some time today and score some points. Oh yeah, there you are. You want a drink? You thirsty? Yeah. Welcome to me, these guys. Who are they? Tango. Ritvik. Come on, lads, help us out. Help a player out. You could tango this car. I could, I could be like, you've been tangoed. You. Oh, Jimmy, that's a cool t-shirt. Oh, gee, I'm glad you saw this. Your muscles. Yeah, this is for sale. Soon. Maybe now? I don't know. Possibly at some point. But if you want to support the team and support lovely Team 87, get yourself a nice mint shirt. Was that good? That was great. Thank you. Uh, Archie wore a uh, Team 87 shirt yesterday. Archie, mate, what have you got to say about the, uh, about the shirt? Uh, it was very comfy. Nice. Just, you know, it's just great to support the team. Very nice. Got the rowdy one as well because MX-5s are better than literally anything else. Uh, but, yeah, just... Very nice, good quality sh**. Mate, this is the best. Uh, uh, why, you should do uh, he's, he's not a fan either. He, he's not a fan. No. Uh, Hadn't even heard of Jimmy before this weekend. No. Oh, no. I mean, who, who is this bloke? Honestly. Just rocking up here with his pink and mint MX-5. Honestly, to God. Oh, this sh**. MX-5. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, first session coming up, practice session. We're going to go out in Minty. We're going to give it a go. Uh, taking it super easy this session. Um, just going to make sure that the uh, problem we had yesterday doesn't repeat itself because I didn't like that too much. And we might try and go a bit, a bit quicker a bit later on. We need to really focus on having the car actually in one piece for the final. Uh, that's where we can score points. So we, we didn't make it last round. Um, I think we, we did get some points in qualifying, but not many. So, yeah, let's try not to actually do that this time. But it's so hot today. I think the cockpit is going to be like an actual genuine thing I want to worry about. So, um, I think the plan is go out, do a couple of like warm-up laps. One flight, fly on that, then come back in, check it all over, and then just repeat. That'll be our program for the day. Nice to see so many people here as well. It's a big crowd today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, something about Time Attack is we tend to align a lot of the events with uh, with like big car shows. So if you look out to the right here, we've got a massive car show going on at the same time. So uh, a lot of people here and around the garage, everyone's really interested in the car. It's really cool to get to see everyone's reaction to the car. It's, always, it's the same as my first one. We're like, what the? This is awesome. Like, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping people are going to enjoy seeing it go around. Like it's alright sitting here, I then kind of went out there and just you can hear it, like, it feels like it's it's just misfiring. So every now and then it's running on three cylinders. And uh, you know, I, I tried flooring it, just didn't want to do it. So I just cruised back in and parked it for now, something we can really do. I mean, luckily it's the, the warm up, so this doesn't really count for anything, but and we've now found the problem, so we've got a bit of time to fix it. But uh, obviously, uh, not ideal. Not poggers. Yeah. So this I can actually 
go for a fourth one. And then fifth gear down the straight. <laughs> so now we know the limit of a stock K24. I mean, it was almost meant to be a throwaway engine. Stock? <laughs> oh, bone stock, yeah. How much horsepower are you running? 415 ish. Mate, Americans push them up be beyond 600, unless they all lying. Lying, I think they're all lying. <laughs> they all lying, so yeah. Just too much torque for the rod, and then he said, uh, probably has something to do with the fact that it's a sequential and I was doing the flat shifting. Maybe yeah, those, yeah, maybe you know, the, just the rotations. And, but it was doing all this sort of uh, retardation. We're going to see if we can find the source of this mid fire. We've got a GoPro set up facing at the, at the aim. Gonna get in, go around, do a lap, come in, and see if we can find out what's going on. I mean, we, we, we looked at the dash to see if we could find any problems like fuel pressure, maybe. Nothing came up that was obvious, that was wrong. I'm just wondering whether it's got a blockage in the fuel pump pot in the fuel filters or not, so we'll drain the fuel out and uh, clean the fuel filters out. We've got to the fuel filters, we've got two, and they both look like this. Just absolutely just full of sh**. So we're going to clean these off. This is probably going to be responsible for at least some fuel starvation, especially though down, which is where I've said I've been feeling all the difficulties. I'm about to show this poor man my wang, unsolicited. Yeah, it's kind of, it's, it, it sort of doubles up as like a drying rack. Um, or a so qualifying has just been um, called for the club classes, so we've got about 20, 25 minutes to wear out. We'll keep, we'll keep going through it, we'll keep having a look, and uh, all we can do now is go out and test it. I mean, I'm going to go out and try and do a lap, because it is qualifying and it does count for something if the car will let me. Uh, but if it doesn't, then come back in and try again. Where we cut. Right, okay, so uh, new problem. It seems like I think one of the, uh, the, the lines is actually sort of vibrating out of the wastegate. So it's not getting a proper reading and it's just. It doesn't know what's going on, basically. Again, big, big shout outs to. Gab and, uh, and to David for basically going through every possibility uh, to get us back out in some form. So uh, We're going to go out now and see if the car works. If it does, I'm going to try and go fast. If it doesn't, we'll come back in. Challenging weekend that. Um, let's be real. So that we we all knew that um, it was going to be difficult. You know, the car's completely new. It's only going up and down runway, and realistically, you know, it ran maybe about an hour before it came here. Um, problem is now that of course we're now trying to actually put it into a race situation, track situation, finding a lot of problems. Um, we've had fire. We've had. Uh, missed miss fires, we've had boost problems, we've had fuel problems. Um, all things that we're going to learn from. Uh, right now I'm not feeling the most optimistic because it's been a hard weekend, but you know, I know that tomorrow I'm going to wake up and think, yeah, you know what, you know, this is, this is, this is the project 
this is what you signed up for and it will get better. It's just that uh, you have to fall over a couple of times before you actually you know, learn to walk, I guess. So, um, I, well, you know what, I've got to say a massive, massive shout out to, to Gav and to Dave. Um, they were on it the entire weekend. Anytime there was a problem, they had a solution or an idea for a solution, you know. Um, they never just said, mm -hmm. they, they kept trying stuff. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm proud to call them my team. You know, they're, they're, they're an amazing couple of guys. And uh, also had James with us as well. Thank you, James, for having out. Uh, appreciate that. And uh, hopefully next time we get to you know drive it in anger. We got a couple of laps before uh, it caught fire <laughs> on the Saturday. But, hey. um, but yeah, a big thank you to everyone who's watching. I know it's not the uh, they, they can't always go well. You know, they can't always have these like. Uh, fairy tale weekends, but this is this is part of racing. It's not always going to be good. It's not always going to be easy. Sometimes it's going to be tricky. But yeah. Also, a massive thank you, of course, to the patrons. Uh, thank you all so much for supporting us. And I'm sorry we can give you a better result this time around, but uh, that's how it is. A massive fa uh, thank you to Moza Racing as well for supporting us and uh, letting us do this full stop. And of course, HKS for supplying all our fluids so we can sip in a lovely way and we can. Uh, there's no problem there. Carl's, Carl loves the fluids. Also, a big shout out to Funk Motorsport as well. They gave us a really nice solution for our um, our side pipe at the last minute. We wrapped it. We've got a custom thing on there as well on the uh, exhaust to try and keep some of that heat away from the door and from random people passing by. You don't want burn shins. But, uh, and also, yeah, I know the upside to these weekends is that I was saying to Jamie earlier, you know, that um, I think I even said it on camera earlier that um, even though it's a bad day, you know. Here, it's, we're still at a racetrack. We're still doing this. We still get to you know live this little dream. So um, yeah, frustrated now, but I'm sure I'll be uh, happy later on. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, till next time. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you next time. What's your favourite one on there, Gav? There is. <laughs> and all these lovely people here, all these patrons, are the reason why we are able to go racing and do this stuff. So thank you, everyone. Much love. Even if you do have a huge erection, we don't discriminate here. Um, you have fun with that. Do what you want. Just stay away from the schools. <laughs>